Hello everyone, this is Sarah Speechley, Superstar Director of Team Heaven Sent. I wanted to talk to you guys about Party With A Purpose. This is going to be a training with six topics. So today is the training on introduction and also prospecting. So what is the main focus that we can help you with as a consultant is to at parties. One of the best things to do is to hold parties, whether it's a traditional home party or an open house party, Facebook party, basket party, even if you're just getting together at a coffee shop or doing a tailgate, online party. There's so many different ways to do parties. Whatever works for these, but these are parties. These will keep your business going and growing. Going and growing. <laughs> um, at these parties is what we're going to kind of give you these six different techniques and it will it will help you grow your business and I want to help set you on the clearest path to success for your Scentsy business. Scentsy's party is just about isn't about just making sales. Yes you get sales you make commissions that's great but it's also about connecting with people. The experience of smelling, buying products is great at parties, but don't forget, it's also about setting the stage of building relationships with the hosts and guests. That connection is so, so important to your business. There are three core values of Sensi. You guys probably already know them, but if not, simplicity, authenticity, and generosity. Okay, these are great, great for your business. These are just wonderful cores that Sensi have set up. And if you use these, it will also help you. And I love that Sensi has set up these core values. Now, the six core systems that I'm gonna be training on, again, the first one is prospecting. That is what we're gonna talk a little about today. So prospecting, what is prospecting? Prospecting is the first skill and it is really all about connecting with others. So prospecting is bravery. It's taking courage to initiate conversation with people you don't know. When you reach out to others, you share a piece of yourself, which often helps them feel comfortable sharing with you too. Prospecting is also being proactive. True connections take effort planning, and preparation. What might start out as an impromptu conversation can lead to much bigger when you're prepared. The other one is prospecting is ongoing. Lasting connections require lasting efforts on your part. As consistency is the key. That's the key to your business. It really is consistency with everything you do. But um, being consistent with prospecting, it's up to you to look for those opportunities to connect with others. There are three vital elements to mastering these skills. The first one is have meaningful conversations with potential hostess, guests, and prospective team members. Second, learn how to listen. Third, understand how to read the room. Okay, so... First, we're gonna talk about the meaningful conversation. Be meaningful, talk to them, get involved, and list, and um, really get down on their level. Um, as a, when I'm doing parties, I don't like to stand up, well, I don't stand well, if a lot of you know I have health issues anyway, but I like to get down on the floor or sit down and have eye-to-eye -eye contact with them, really work one-on-one -on -one with them. And not work, but talk. Let them know. Talk to them as a friend. Get to know them. Have those meaningful conversations. When you're talking with them, that's when you're going to hear those click. Oh, they, they're, they're tired of their job or they need more money or they're tired of being home all day with their kids. These are little things that you kind of get when you have meaningful conversations and that you will kind of click into putting them into categories, which I'll talk about in a minute. The second one is learn how to listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to their good, their bad, whatnot. If you listen, you're going to find ways that Sensi can benefit them, whether it's, you know, maybe their house stinks, maybe they have pets, maybe 
they need more money. Maybe they want to get product but don't have money to buy it. Maybe they'll be a good host. Listen to them and you're going to be able to know how better to help them. And the third one, again, was understanding how to read the room. Okay, so let's talk about understanding how to read the room. As a consultant, you will see new faces at every party, which is great because every new face is a potential new host, new team member, or new customer. Your challenge is to identify who those people are. Once you can do this, you can put them into categories that will help you to take the next step. For example, if someone um, is excited about the hostess rewards and you're showing, wow, this hostess is going to get this so much, this, all of this product for free. You know, whether you do the stacking game where you stack up all the product that that hostess gives is going to get, people are going to be like, wow, that's a lot of product. There you go. That's your clue to put them in your potential hostess category. Um, maybe they are talking about, you're talking about the business. Um, when you, which you should always talk about the business. Um, when you're talking about it and learning more about the opportunity and a couple of guests ask a lot of questions, consider them for your potential consultant category. Um, also listen for those that maybe are complaining about work or, you know, want a little extra money, don't, you know, want a vacation, whatnot. Put those in your consultant potentials. Always be on the lookout for attentive people. When you are talking and they're nodding and saying, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Look for that. That is reading the room. When you share ideas about the hostess or all the hostess gets or whatnot, if they're nodding and agreeing or excited or you see they're connecting, those are the people that you're going to put in your hostess categories. Always, no matter what, you might place them in. All of the class need to hear about the Sensi Opportunity. Always, 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 okay? Talk about why you joined, okay? Because your why may trigger them. Oh, wow. She, she had, you know, one of the things, I'm not miss outgoing. I still, you know, get nervous talking in front of people. I was never into sales. I didn't think I could ever do sales. Sharing my story of my fears and how I've overcome them by being a Sensi Consultant. And now I, I love getting out and talking to people. Yes, do I still get nervous? Yeah, I still do. But it's been a great business. And if I share a little about me or share why you joined or even your fears you've overcome, that may trigger them saying, oh, well, maybe I can do that. You know, I'm kind of shy too, but maybe I could do this. Or maybe... I didn't think I knew a lot of people. Share your story, every single party. Share the opportunity. Say, we would love to have you guys join. Now, having that meaningful conversation will also help you when it comes time to talking to those that you think would be good on your team. You know, if they're great with people, say, you know what, you are so amazing at talking to people, you would be a great Sensi Consultant. Who doesn't like a compliment? Everyone loves compliments, right? So make sure to compliment, be sincere. Maybe they're great at numbers. Maybe they have a lot of friends. Maybe they want to get away at nights and have time for themselves. Say, you know what? This would be great for you. It'd get you out of the house. Maybe they're cooped up all day with little kids and want to get out with just women and visit and talk. Maybe this would be great for you to have a chance. If you listen, I guarantee Sensi would be beneficial to everyone somehow. Now, does that mean everyone is going to want to sign up? No, that's okay. You know, it, Sensi business isn't for everyone, and that is okay. But maybe they'll want to host, or maybe they will just want to be a loyal customer for you. Everyone you connect with is a potential customer, hostess, or a future team member. It is up to you to figure out where they fit best. Um, so I wanted to talk about the 10721 rule. Okay, so 10721, here you go. Get at least 10 guests at your party. At least seven, so there's the 10, 10 guests at least. Get seven to make a purchase. Two should book a party. 
and one to join your team. Okay, so 10 at your party, seven orders, two hostesses, one join your team. Now, it may not happen at every party to get the 10, seven, two, one, but if you have that in your mind, that that's what you're gonna reach for, you are more likely to reach it. And you have your mindset on, okay, I need to find two people to host a party. I need to get at least one person here to join. An awesome, um, also, your hostess is always, always, always one of the best people to join. They already love the product. They already have guests, customers at the party that may want to reorder. And hopefully, if you've gotten some parties at those parties, you can give them to your hostess. So now she already has parties to get her business rolling. So that's, hostesses are always one of your best bests for joining. But you know what? There could be others at that party too. So really listen, read the audience, and that is what prospecting, prospecting is all about. Okay, the last bit of prospecting advice that I wanted to share with you is make sure your message come from your heart. Be sincere. It's more likely to open people's mind and heart to the new opportunity. So be sincere and read. Read the audience. Read, or read your guests. Talk to them and listen. And that is about prospecting. Okay, next time I'm going to do another short video on bookings. So I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye, everyone, and thanks for joining me.